And uh, our first talk is going to be by José Espírito Santo, and he's going to talk about uh, model embeddings and calling paradigms. José. Thank you, Sandra. Uh, so this is joint work with uh, my colleague Luis Pinto at the uh, University of Minho and the Tarmo Ustalo. Um, So the, the, the talk has three parts. So first, uh, some motivation and uh, recap of some simple things. Um, so the title is more on something. So it means that we return here to some subject. So in the second part, I recall what we, we've done uh, in 2019 about this uh, topic. And then the third, uh, the third part is this new visit to the, to the topic. So first I explain the meaning of these words in the title, so modern embedding and calling paradigms. So model embeddings is, uh, so it's, this is a page from uh, the text, basic proof theory textbook. So these are the model embeddings that uh, we study. Uh, and we want to understand uh, um, what they mean computationally and what does it mean to have two, two embeddings. What's, the difference between, between them from the computational point of view. Um, so, so as they say in the last line, so the embeddings are uh, equivalent in logical sense, but they are not equivalent in the computational sense. And the um, uh, calling paradigm. So we, we take this from Plotkin in this paper called Call by Name and Call by Value. So he proposes that over uh, the same syntax, um, we have uh, um, a calculus and a programming language. So the programming language has notions of value and evaluation, and the calculus has the notion of reduction and equality, and the two components are linked by the, the standardization theorem. And so we call this calling paradigm. And uh, Plotkin introduced two examples, the call by, by name and call by value. Um, so we propose this uh, call by value lambda calculus. For call by name, we have the ordinary lambda calculus. And we will talk about the third one in this talk that we call call by box. So for the computational interpretation, we will just consider implication. So this is a, a sketch of the embeddings. There are two embeddings, the Gödel embedding and the Girard's embedding. Um, and we know that from similar interpretations, say, into linear logic, um, the computational interpretation has to do with the calling, the, the calling paradigm. So Godel's embedding interprets call by value, Girard's embedding interprets call by name. Um, but our approach is that we focus on the interpretation into the model logic. Um, we focus on identifying the model target um, and the core of this connection between embeddings and paradigms. And only later, later we can consider instantiations of the modality, and this is a separate concern. And if you consider these later instantiations, then we can compose the known interpretations into other systems, but this is a separate task. So for us, the core of this connection is in the first part, uh, in the interpretation of the, the interpretations into the model logic. So graphically, it's like this. So we have the call by name, call by value, lambda calculi, Girard and Godel's interpretation into some, some model target. Then we can consider some instantiation, and there are many examples. Could be linear logic, could be this simple modality, could be call by push value, okay? So this we could do later, and we, I will not talk about this and these instantiations. So I concentrate in the, the other part. Um, so I just some uh, recapitulation about call by name and call by value. So this is uh, call by name lambda calculus, so ordinary lambda terms, beta reduction. So we need the notion of evaluation. So evaluation is the weak add reduction. So 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 we close the, the beta rule just under this this closure rule. Um, so you, here you call this evaluation. And um, there is a standardization theorem, a nice way of doing it. So this is a an inductive characterization of standard reducibility. So we see here the contribution of evaluation for the standard reduction. 
and there is this, the standardization theorem saying that this, this is, relation is the same as full reduction. <coughs> For call by value, the difference is that, uh, okay, so the beta rule is different, and the, for evaluation, we close the beta rule under this, as before, and on also under this, this, this rule. And uh, the standardization theorem done, done in this style, so the difference here is that we, in the standard uh, reduction, we evaluate the function to a lambda, but also the argument. So the contribution evaluation here. Okay, so the model target and the embeddings. So uh, our first uh, version of the model target that we call lambda b of the box calculus is like this. So this is the syntax. Um, so we have uh, variables and abstraction, but the variables are in, in this form and uh, so so this is actually a compound of a variable and the elimination of the modality, and this is for the introduction of the modality. And there is only one uh, reduction rule, so the beta b rule, the beta box rule, so we only call functions with boxes, and no other reduction rule. So we can talk about reduction in this calculus, and also about evaluation. So actually, yes, evaluation. So first we define a, a weak external reduction, which means that we close, so, so negatively it means that we cannot uh, reduce under abstraction nor boxes, and then evaluation or weak external reduction is just a multi-step relation that you, we obtain from this. As to types, uh, in this target, so implications have these, um, so okay, so types, that, uh, that is this, this box, this model type, and uh, the implications uh, are required to have this model type in the antecedent, and the contexts are all, uh, only consist of declarations like this, so all variables are declared, uh, declared with the model type, and now this notation now makes sense, and uh, everything else is obvious. And this is, and this is okay because all the uh, formulas on the left are model types. So we can also define a standard reducibility. And so in the interesting rule, we see that uh, the function reduces to a lambda and the argument reduces, I mean, it evaluates to a lambda and the argument evaluates to a box. And there is a standardization theorem for this system. So Girard's embedding, so the <coughs> translation, so this is well known, so the translation of formulas, the translation of terms, the behavior of typing, so this is as was in this first slide, the copy from the textbook. So computationally, we can see this as a kind of protecting, so pro a kind of compilation, protecting, but not with a lambda, but with a box, so we protect, protect arguments with boxes, and then the variable, if some box, uh, ever is substituted here, the box is opened by this epsilon, so we can see it like this. And this has nice properties, so very strong properties, so preservation and the um, reflection of reduction, evaluation, standard reduction. And from these properties we can extract the standardization theorem of the ordinary lambda calculus from the properties of the Girard's mapping into this system. Now for Godel, so the translation is a bit more complex, so there are two levels at the type, at, at the level of formulas, then there is a translation of values, and then the, 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 the proper translation, so values are boxed, and that, uh, we translate application like this, using this, this, this macro here. So this was important just to ensure that in the target we just need that, that beta rule that, that calls functions with boxes. As to typing, the behavior is uh, as expected and uses this typing for this uh, derived construction that is used in the translation of applications. And now for, for, uh, for the Godel translation, the properties are not so 
meat as for Girard's translation. So, so in blue, some differences. So we, we need to use a special beta rule. The, the evaluation level only works for full evaluation to a value. We have to adapt the standard reduction relation. But still, we can extract for cobai value lambda calculus the standardization from these properties. But uh, so here, uh, uh, technically, the extra bits that we need, so this, uh, this extra rule is actually a, a, a compound of two, two reduction steps. But it has this funny, funny uh, shape that uh, the lamb is to the right and the argument is to the left. So this n is passed to the lambda that is to the right. <coughs> okay. And here in the standard reduction, so when we evaluate something like this, so again, this one is the argument, so it has to be evaluated to a box. The m, although being on the right, has to evaluate to a lambda, and then the, the, the argument inside the box is passed to the function. So our first narrative uh, in 2019 was something like this. The model target is a new problem paradigm for white box. The model embeddings implement an abstract form of protection by a box. So it's a kind of compilation. They have properties that are strong forms of the properties of the CPS translations. And the, the, this protecting by a box has a, a cobai name and cobai value site. <coughs> um, and the model embedding unify cobai name and cobai value into this target. So this was our first narrative. Okay, but uh, so we, we return to this topic because of this subject because uh, so we, we, we wanted to improve the properties of the Godwin embedding uh, and also because we wanted to change the narrative because the strong properties of the Girard embedding uh, suggested that maybe <coughs> the story is, is not like a compilation and unification of paradigms but maybe something different and um, we wanted some uh, principled uh, approach to this uh, trick that made the cobai value side uh, work. So this separation of this special rule and special definition of the standard reduction. So we wanted this to happen uh, for moral reasons and only, only then we use this for uh, the analysis of the, of the, of the embeddings. So as a, so, and then our plan was this. So we redesigned the model targets <coughs> along these lines. So we forbid uh, types like these. Um, we separate in the term syntax terms that must have a model type from those that cannot have a model type. Um, the application constructor will remain uh, ambiguous. So we separate two forms and the corresponding reduction rules. So this is just we could do this just for the sake of model logic. And now the last requirement is specific for the knowledge of the, uh, the embeddings. Then we just keep the forms of application that show up in the Im image of the embedding, okay? So if we apply this to the target, then the system that we obtain is, is something like this. So types look like this. Um, so there are box types and unbox types. Uh, and then, uh, terms are separated into two classes. So all the constructors we can separate uh, easily except application. So for now I write it like this with two versions of application. And there are two versions of the beta rule, again just ca calling it boxes, written like this in this uh, in a bit of ambiguous form. So this is the, the model part of the redesign of the target. And now for the last bit, the last, uh, the, the blue requirement <coughs> appropriate for the embeddings. So now we observe that we have this derived construction with this, uh, so I'm, I'm going to the, the construction, yeah, uh, I'm going to write it like this, it stands for this. And in blue we see how we type this. Okay, so again the P is the function and the Q is the argument. And, uh, and also we can derive uh, uh, for this construction this, this reduction rule. And so now we adopt, uh, so, so we don't adopt uh, <coughs> this construction.
contract and we need full generality, but just these particular cases, Q, Q, Q. So what happens then is that, so now we replace, okay, so we replace that construction, then there is no need to write the other form in this silly way, so you write it like this. Um, and then we see that the two, um, the two classes of terms are like this. So the unbox terms, so we have a value applied to a number of arguments, and this, so this is, we bracket to the left, whereas the box terms start with a box, with a box, and then a list of arguments, and uh, we bracket this uh, to the right here. And there are two uh, reduction rules, one for applications like this and one for applications like this. So I call it the, the left Peter rule, the right Peter rule, or the unbox rule and the box rule. So and this, this is curious again because the argument is on the left and it's passed to the lambda on the right. So, so now this is the, resign, the redesigned target. So what, so what can we say about the translations now? So the, the translations now are just about choosing a certain mode. So a mode is either it, whether it is to the left or to the right in this sense. And so Girard's translation chooses the, um, the unbox mode, the, the left mode. So let's see how. So, so we take the, sy the, the system, so we forbid the, the um, we forbid the, the box things, so the box application, the box terms, okay? So, so now this T becomes an M, uh, and since this is the only form of a T or Q or argument, we put the box over there, and then uh, we can erase all, all this in red. So in red is the thing that we are erasing, we erase that, that and this rule, okay? And what remains is just call by name lambda target. Okay, and the, 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 what allows us to see is precisely Girard's mapping. So we have Girard's mapping is the glasses, we put the glasses and we, and we see, oh, this is call by name lambda target. And now for, for Godel, Godel chooses the box mode, so, so we forget about this unbox application, unbox terms. So the, yeah, in, in, uh, so in the abstractions, the body now is a T. And then uh, now these unbox terms are just values. So I'm going to write this is G. So G here and G, G inside the box. So the box is always a box value. So we erase this thing in red and uh, the first Peter rule. And now what happens is this is plot things called by the lambda target. What remains? So we erase the red parts. What remains is plot things lambda target. So, okay, so this uh, model target has the, again, nice properties. We can define evaluation, so we have the re reduction, evaluation, it has a, s a standardization <coughs> uh, relation with CIRA. Um, but uh, the best way of saying what we get is that we really, the mappings really just point out that both Cobain and Lambda Calcus and Cobain and Lambda Calcus live in this, we, we don't uh, simulate or emulate or whatever, they really live in this syntax. Look, look at the, 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 the tightness of the, the properties at every level. So then we have a second nar narrative. So, so the model target after the redesign still calls call by box and combines two modes, so the, of the application constructor and reduction. Each mode corresponds to a calling paradigm, call by name or call by value. And uh, we have this new way of looking at the model embeddings and call by name and call by value coexist inside the, this redesigned target. Okay, so this is my last slide. So work in progress. So we are really excited about this redesign, uh, redesi redesign model uh, target. Uh, <coughs> we are exploring it. And uh, we are also working out the, this 
classification of the neurology that I talked about in the beginning of my talk. Okay? Thank you. Thank you. Uh, uh, are there any questions? Yes, thank you for your talk. So, uh, first question is, what about commuting conversions and what about hidden and blocked reflexes? We didn't think about hidden in the, the next kind of question. There are no commuting conversions. Um, so, in the, in the beginning, uh, if we design the, the system simply, of course, we have a reduction rule for the neurology. But the first version of the system that I presented in the first part is 1DB. This was already designed so that this, is, this disappears. So that's why we just have the one rule. So in a sense, they are there even in the, in the beta rule when we call, because it's just always a box. And, the way, and because variables have attached this elimination of the modality. So with this design, they are always done under the car section. So it just has a beta rule. But, but I guess that in this calculus you have exactly the same kind of blocking situations that you have in Colby value and, and in the bank calculus, which is more or less similar to your box calculus, if mm -hmm. I'm not wrong. So if you don't have commuting conversion, conversions or distance, you cannot unblock these regexes. Yes, I mean, but we didn't uh, explore the, the system for this kind of purpose, okay. because our mm -hmm. purpose was more fundamental to understand what global and hierarchic embedding give us. So my answer would be they, after all this, I think what they did was this my syntax again, showing that the showing that the, the two kinds of terms to exist in this in the terms and, and, and system to exist in this my system system is not so you could uh, think of uh, having in the in the in the in the syntax uh, the, the call by name of our value calculus, but this cannot be done uh, naively, so the, the, the way of doing it is um, like this, and it gives out some of these analysis. That, that's my, my reason. Okay, thank you. Questions? Okay, so uh, I have a very naive one. Uh, have you looked? Have you uh, thought about the the you know those translations, those relation be between this and, for instance, the the bank calculus? Have you thought about that, or? Um, I, th I think the relation with those translations is, as I said in the beginning, so we can we can I think factor the known translations through the embeddings as done here into this simple S four logic. And then some instantiation of the modality. Uh, so that this is this would be our approach. And the, well, we, we kept just some sums that it is easy to see, but we didn't take into account everything. Um, so, for instance, for uh, for white switch value, I think what we get is that um, okay for explaining the difference through modeling of between call by name and call by value, this little target is enough. Of course, you don't need and you don't need the, all the richness of the of call by switch value. So I think the method will be something like this. So when you instantiate the modality, you you get you obtain something that is similar to what is known, and um, and the, the translations into richer systems work. But but in the end, for explaining the two falling paradigms, you just need this little box calculus. So that, that was our purpose, to pin down what these the model translations give us. Okay. Any other questions? Okay, so let's uh, thank our speaker again. Thank you.